Indian Railways is more than 190 years old started by East India Company in 1832. In the 19th century East India Company introduced the railways to India. It started as industrial railways and then passenger railways were brought in. First railway work was planned in the year 1832 at Madras called as Red Hill Railways. In 1836 Captain Arthur Thomas Cotton, of the Madras Engineers, advocated the construction of a railroad and was opened in the year 1837 for the conveying of ironstone to be used as road building material within the city of Madras. The first railway was ran between Red Hills to Chintadripet in Madras in the year 1837. This was used for carrying stone for road works. A proposal was made by Captain Cotton to utilize the railway for passenger traffic which was turned down. In 1845, the Godavari Dam construction railway was built by Sir Arthur Cotton at Daweshwaram in Rajamundri to supply stone for the construction of a dam over the Godavari River. It was rebuilt in 1970 when it was officially renamed as Sir Arthur Cotton Barrage. Also there is a museum in his name. In 1851, the Solani Aqueduct Railway was built by Proby Kotli in Roorkee to transport construction materials for an aqueduct over the Solani River. These railway tracks were dismantled after these projects were completed and no longer exist. From 1845 to 1852 several railway companies came into existence. In 1845, Jagannath Shankar and Jamzeji Jijiboy formed the Indian Railway Association to bring railways in India. It was his idea and efforts to start railways in India. Eventually, the association was incorporated into the Great Indian Peninsula Railway, and Jijiboy and Shankar Shet became the only two Indians among the ten directors of the GIP Railways. On 16 April 1853 at 3.35 p.m., the first passenger train of the Great Indian Peninsula Railway left Bori Bandar Station in Mumbai for Thane. The train took 57 minutes to reach Thane. It covered a distance of 33.8 kilometers. Three locomotives named Sultan, Sindh and Sahib pulled the 14 carriages carrying 400 passengers on board. In May 1854, the Bombay Thane line was extended to Kalyan with the Thane viaducts over the Thane Creek. There were India's first railway bridges. The first passenger train in eastern India ran from Howrah, near Calcutta, to Hooghly, a distance of 39 kilometers, on the 15th of August 1854. The Madras railway first track from Royapuram in Chennai to Arcot was opened in 1856. It had as its objective, connection of Chennai on the east coast with the west coast, as also linking up with up with Bengaluru and the Nilgiris. Jamalpur Locomotive Workshop was established on 8 February 1862 as the first fully-fledged railway workshop facility in India. It was started by the East Indian Railway Company. By the end of 1870 the major cities Bombay, Kolkata, Madras and Delhi were connected to other cities in India. Lahore, Meerut and Allahabad in North, Ahmedabad in West, Nagpur in Central, Bangalore, Calicut and Nagapattinam in South. Development and management of railways was done by British companies, Indian companies, Government of India and Native States. Initially private British companies constructed and managed the railways. Later in 1870 government also partnered in. By 1869 there were two mergers, leaving eight major railway companies, namely the East Indian, Great Indian Peninsula, Eastern, Bengal, Bombay, Baroda and Central India, Sindh, Punjab and Delhi, Madras, South Indian, and Oud and Rohilkhand. In the early 1880s, involved hybrid public-private partnerships between the government as majority owner of the lines and private companies in charge of construction and operation. Government began taking over railway operations in 1924. The first electric train ran in India with the inauguration of services between Bombay Victoria Terminal and Kurla on 3 February 1925 on XGIP railway system. The section was electrified on 1500 volt DC. Electric traction was subsequently extended on Central Railway up to Igatpuri on northeast line and Pune on southeast.
Railway between Kolaba and Borivili on the 5th of January 1928 and between Madras Beach and Tambaram of Southern Railway on the 15th of November 1931. Before independence, India had 388 km of DC electrification.